Hey, many fish. 26th of November. And this image that I was kind of observing there yesterday, and, you know, the way that that was brought to me was just in a way that was kind of reverse of what I'm used to. And, and meaning, I usually see something and then it carries me into what Todd was trying to share with me and it just wasn't it wasn't resonating you know what I'm saying I was praying on it and everything but it just wasn't happening so I just I, I said your will be done father and I just I really just let it go and so this morning I'm just going through my headlines here I, I just skimmed through it just generates the headlines from around the world the Washington Post and Times blah 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 and I see this article here a giant asteroid to shave Earth's orbit next month. Here's why NASA, everybody's friend, labels it potentially hazardous. I mean, this is a day or two old, 24th, right? But, you know, just the title grabbed me. And so I'm reading it, and, and of course it has to be named after, like, some Greek god of death. And, you know, all these numbers absolutely say something this is how they speak nasa is like an arm of the serpent itself nasa's bad people really bad and they're very good at what they do and what they do is deceive but anyway i'm reading it the asteroid is also very large about half the size of the asteroid scientists believe may have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs right away ding 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 light bulb goes off the blackout, the dinosaurs, the meteors. It just clicked with me, okay? So I'm reading this, and I'm an inquiring mind, as usual. I'm looking at the images, I'm reading it, and there's a lot there, like I said, but i got to show you what I found. I, I looked around for more articles about, uh, where was I here, about this asteroid, and I came across this here, right? BP Earthwatch. I believe he's a brother, but he still believes stuff that NASA gives him, and that's just weird to me. God bless him anyway, because he did this video about this metallic object, and, and so there's another one lurking besides this one, okay? So I go and find it, and sure enough, right on NASA's front page, it gets center stage, front and center. It's the first interstellar visitor, and it dazzled scientists. And this is where I got my confirmation. Right smack here. I went, yep, this is it. Because you know what they call this thing? U1. That's that's its official name. 11-2017 U1. And it just clicked with me. U1. U2. U1? Yeah, U2. And it just totally clicked. Now, the connection between it all? To me, it's saying that it has something to do with NASA. Because I know NASA folks. I'm telling you, I used to do video after video, go back of like a year or whatever. Man, they are the gatekeepers. They are the ones. They are the literal uh, deceiver um, headquarters. In other words, that everything that they're feeding you is either 100% lie or it's sprinkled with enough truth and magic and by magic, I mean their formulas, their numbers, and their trajectories. All these things play in. There is plenty of stuff going up, going on up in space, folks. But it's not what NASA tells you it is. Okay? I, I'll just take this image here for an example. And I know perfectly well that it's an artist concept. However, the artist works for NASA. That's who they are. They're NASA artists. Well, I just grab this image real quick. I bring it into the little flipper here. All I did was flip it 90 degrees, and of course, they just can't not do this. Why is there the face of what appears to be a female? See the hair back here? There's the eye, there's the nose, mouth, chin. You see it? I surely hope you do. I mean, it's pretty doggone obvious. I can uh, do some little lines for you if you wish, and I will. 
because I want to. Okay? If you look right here, that's where you'll see the eye. And this is like the bridge of the nose right here. And then there's the mouth. And there's the chin. And it goes down. There's the top of the head goes back like this. The hair comes off the forehead like that. Not a good drawer, but you can see it. I'm probably overdoing this because most of you are probably saying, yeah, we see it, we see it. See, this is the kind of thing NASA does. This is, this is what they do. And that simple little silly thing, people will just write it off like going, oh, that's just a bored artist. Just putting it in there for, you know, for kicks. No, 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 folks. It doesn't work that way. NASA's evil. And I believe that they are going to pull something off. I do not know what. I just don't. I do know if a meteor crashes into the Earth that it's likely not what NASA tells you it is. So you got to just really wipe away so much that we've been indoctrinated with in this world and flip it up on its ear because that's when you start shaking out the truth and then you get to know Jesus. I'm not kidding, folks. It's the only way. It truly is. So, there's your connection. It is finished. Praise Jesus. God bless you, brother. I know that there's a connection here now, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to leave it alone, if you know what I'm saying. So, I had to share that with you guys. Enjoy your day. Peace and grace to you all. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 